cute in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Tuesdays on um, LGBT Peeps. I'm Valerie, and this is my friend Max. Um, we tried to record this literally like five times just now. Ask her, it didn't we? Yes, five and times. I can tell you exactly what she's going to say. Because <laughs> yeah, I repeated myself so much. But um, I tried it like four times on my phone and one time on her phone, and every time it just like cut off. So if it cuts off, I'm just going to give up. Actually, I'm not going to give up because I love you guys too much. But anyways, um, I'm going to start with Kato's question. Um, What's up, now? would you like to be? She she keeps repeating it for me. But anyway, um, yeah, that's the question. And I am between a dolphin, a Pomeranian, or a bird because birds can, like, fly, obviously, and I'm going to experience that. And dolphins, because they can swim underwater for a long time um, and long distance pretty easily. And Pomeranians, because... They're a little ball of cuteness, and that would just be amazing to be a little ball of cuteness like that. But, um... She used my simile. <laughs> Sorry, simile? Metaphor. Yes. Um... Sorry. That's okay. English uh, wasn't my strong subject. But <laughs> I choose dolphin because, um... I just, that's what I would like to experience right now more. Um... Yeah, so, Ashley, your question is... I didn't think about this before. I thought that I could mom would just come to me. What should I ask her? Um What hairstyle have you always wanted to try hey. but you were either too intimidated or you didn't know how to do it or something like that? Because I feel like everybody has that one hairstyle that there's like, eh, I don't think I could do that because it's too blah blah blah. So yeah. If you had to change oh. your hair, what would you do to it? Not saying your hair isn't beautiful, because it is totally beautiful, you're so beautiful, but, you know, just a random question. Sorry, I'm loopy, it's like, really late, and I have to work at like 7 in the morning. But, um, my favorite book is this one here, called Keeping You a Secret by Julie Ann Peters. Um, it is so good. It is, we have both read it, and, um, it's a really good book, uh, because, for me, because I, it kind of helps me come to terms with my sexuality when I first, like, I was really, like, conservative and stuff, and then I read that book, and I was like, what? Lesbians have lies? And then, like, <laughs> I just, like, I don't know, I, it opened my eyes to that world and kind of helped me become who I was, so that book had a profound impact on me, and it was really, really good. Um, and Julianne Peters is an LGBT writer, author person, and she has other good books. Um, for MTF, there's one called Luna. Um, about an MTF, and um, between Mom and Joe about having um, two moms um, that are in a lesbian relationship. So yeah, um, I like it because what I just said, and it's about a girl named Cece and a girl named Holland. And Holland um, is a senior at high school, and so is Cece, and they meet, and Cece is an out and proud lesbian, and Holland is... Um, she is dating a guy at the time, and she falls in love with Cece, um, and that's not giving it away, that's, like, in the beginning, but, um, things happen, and Holland kind of struggles to find who she is and all of that stuff, so yeah, it's a good book, and you guys are looking for it. Strongly good. recommended. Yeah. Do you have a favorite book? Mmm, it would, I'd told you the other day it was between this one and a book called Where the Red Friend Grows. It's about a young boy who, Where the Red Friend Grows is about a young boy who wants these two hunting dogs and saves up all his money just to get them and teaches them to hunt and everything, he does everything with them. And it's just really touching because it's about the bond between how a human and an animal just connect. Because Dogs can love will love you no matter what, and sometimes I wish people were like that. Yeah, we need more people like that. So love everybody. <laughs> okay, talk to you later. Bye.